Hey guys, Cube Hamster here with a new video. I am uh, happy to announce that I've started working on the next weekly puzzle challenge, although I should probably stop calling it the weekly puzzle challenge. Um, anyways, um, this is something for the more advanced redstone people, people that do mini games, adventure maps, that sort of stuff. Um, in my next puzzle I will be needing a, a pseudo randomizer and I couldn't really find any good ones on YouTube. Uh, I know Codecraft had made a really nice one, but that one gives binary output, which is useful, but not for uh, what I needed. So, anyways, I came up with the following. Uh, this one has 16 outputs, but it's customizable, and I will talk about how you can do that later. But basically, the random factor in this thing is uh, the human factor. What's going on? As soon as I activate it, there is a uh, clock running, and I don't know if you guys can see the redstone dots lit up. Um, but that thing is spinning around quite fast. The clock is it's 16 outputs, uh, one tick per output, so 1.6 seconds. Um, and whenever you stop it, um, that's going to determine what the output's going to be. Um, and most importantly, the, I mean, this thing is compact, but it's fast and it's 100% reliable. Um, so, it, it, it like some of the randomizers I've seen can derp and then. Yeah, then you're pretty much screwed. But this this thing never breaks, um, and it, it's easily customizable as well. So here I have 16 outputs. Now, say you were to want 14 outputs, all you have to do is you have to go into MC Edit and cut out one of these sections. So either orange section, or iron section, or both maybe. And then what you do is you cut out this blue part and you just paste it to whatever you just cut off. So you could have 16, 14, 12, 10, 8, 6, 4 four uh, outputs and then um, if you want an uneven number which is what I will be needing in my next weekly puzzle challenge um, this also works 100% reliable uh, so again when you stop it you get a random output and if you want to customize this all you do again is you cut out one of these sections and then once you cut it out um, you uh, yeah you can just uh, cut out that other section and just paste it paste it back together so uh, color coded it. You have to be careful though if you if you're going to cut out this section, be sure to replace this lapis circuit with the delay, uh, else else it won't work. Um, and as you can see, it doesn't give like there's redstone stuff activating here, but only once uh, these pistons go down, is it going to read? Is it going to like read what uh, what the signal is? But uh, yeah, pseudo random. 100% reliable compact randomizer so I'm happy and I hope this uh, this helps you guys out and uh, looking forward to any of the stuff you make with this I'll put the download link in the description of the video if this helps you out be sure to give a like subscribe and I will see you all later bye bye